Rich Side Canine early morning. It's early, early and cold at the Harris Teeter and Brawlins. And I got my car charging up, topping off. Went out and got me some monster Red Bull, I should say. Tire wipes. Get back in, head off to DC. Literally, no matter how many times I walk up to this matte gray wrap, never gets old. Always looks good. Always. Dirty clean, don't make a bit of difference. Always looks good. We are rolling on 495. We are basically cutting around the outskirts of Montgomery County to drop back into North DC. Um, probably, maybe would have been way faster mile-wise to go right across the Key Bridge into DC. However, traffic is like uh, a little bit crazy. Um, at least on 495. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Bet many people have not seen that sign sliding in D.C. the back way. That's what we do. I might hit this Tesla charger real quick at damn Target. Not sure yet. Bet a lot of people never seen this part of D.C., man. Oh, D.C. Cruiser. Ugliest cruisers on the planet. But still got love for them D.C. boys in blue. But leave it to D.C. to copy the suburbs because... This area could be in Ashburn, it could be in Reston, it could be anywhere, and it's right in D.C. But it don't look like the city. Old suburb shopping center. D.C. is copying the trend, going suburbia. I can't get over this shopping center. Honestly, I've never seen this shopping center before, and I've been to D.C. hundreds of times. But this is like, I'm in the suburbs, man. Three-story townhouses over there. This looks just like Loudoun County, everywhere I look. This neighborhood is killing me, man. And again, I just never been to this part of DC, which is weird, but uh, this is like suburbia 1000 and um, Tesla chargers, three-story townhouses. This could 100% be Ashburn all day long. Why is that person so close behind me? Come on with it. But I'm gonna get backed up here real quick, grab some free electrons. Well, not really free, but grab some quick electrons before this pickup. And uh, I'm gonna actually run PetSmart, look around, kill a couple minutes of time. Get some charging done. You gotta be careful with that plaid throttle. Boom. I like those Model 3s, man. Looking sharp, sharp, sharp. Again, look at this neighborhood. I mean, this is right out of the suburbs, man. Everything about it, thanks, sir. Everything about this neighborhood literally screams suburbs. I just never expected to see this in DC. That's okay. I like it. I like it. DC is a good market for us, man. You got to be a little aware in D.C. where you're at, obviously. Can't be ignorant. Um, you could be on one block in D.C. and be on million dollar, two million dollar homes everywhere you see. And the very next block literally could get you killed. So you really got to be aware of where you're at, what's going on. Kind of know how to get in and how to get back out quickly. Um, how to avoid any problems. Be careful, I'm coming past you. And always have a backup to a backup for self-protection always luckily i still have uh not still but i've always had my retirement credentials so going armed is a absolute necessity i believe this is northeast yeah it's definitely obviously the map the map tells me we're in northeast so this is a pretty area man i don't know how i've never been to this area i, I know i keep saying it but i just never been here before or i never dropped in the city on this side before and stand speed bumps can go away anytime these are like speed mountains man if you hit this thing fast you are in big trouble but anyway we got to get over here and then get into the normal city this is not the normal city but it is cool it looks sharp it looks real sharp they did a good job building it out i mean i'm sure this was all just woods and part of a park and they just recently built it out maybe i'm wrong i'm not sure but not too bad pretty cool Tennis courts covered in graffiti, but that's all right. Damn, she just kicked that. Now she's pushing on him. <laughs> she literally just kicked that guy. And then behind me in the rear view, if you can see, she like threw him on the ground. I think he slapped her butt. I'm not sure about that. We're going to turn on Fort Lincoln. That's a sharp looking Model Y right there. Not quite as sharp as my car, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah, I see you breaking your neck looking at mine too. I was breaking my neck looking at yours. Taking some back roads or some back roads here, guys. So again, everybody thinks that DC is a big city, and it is a big city. I mean, downtown DC is legit, but we are in DC right now, 100%. And um, this is just suburbia, right? I mean, it's, it's real deal. Um, 
And this part of DC, in my opinion, you see more Virginia tags and Maryland tags. I swear every car you see is a Maryland tag, not a DC tag. I don't know if DC licenses are hard to get. I know Maryland licenses, damn near anybody can get them. That's probably why. But turning up on this little bad boy right here. Really nice little neighborhood, man. Don't get it twisted. These are not uh, people see these houses in DC. Make no mistake, these ain't cheap. Uh, these are real deal. Big yards, big houses. Really, really nice. So you're giving me your word. She's very calm in the car. She will just try to lick you. Everybody's sweet here. She's very sweet. <laughs> We're going to find out on 495. <laughs> Hopefully we do okay. All right, super cool. I love new clients. I love talking to new clients. I love having new clients. I love everything about new clients. So what's cool about these guys is they have two Malinois, two high drive dogs, and uh, they're not oblivious to that, right? They're treating them like Malinois. They're they're living with them like high drive dogs. And they got a bunch of equipment and these dogs are already trained. We didn't train them, which is fine. They're on a Tritronics. Sorry about that. They're on a Tritronics uh, Pro 70 remote and they're cool, man. So. Let's get him in the wind. Let's get home. DC's finest rolling up against me again. I swear to God, I've been around cruisers all day. Know what's going on everywhere I look. It's a cruiser out here. Ain't doing much, so just driving around. But I get it. I feel it. I'm trying to make the city feel safe during the day, and I can appreciate that tremendously. I feel pretty safe. I feel real safe at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to uh, DC where the red light had turned red. You're supposed to stop back here where I am. But all five of those cars pulled through on a red light. And there actually is a police car right there. See the blue lights right there? He watched them. Now look at this mess. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be careful though, man. You don't really wanna get into a fender bender and like legit be here all day. Yeah, be a mess. But anyway, gotta try to get up here cut back across, get over the bridge, and get on the highway, and head back to Winchester. And here we sit. We've been sitting here for about five minutes, not moving an inch. Transmission in the hold setting, and we're just sitting. Been like this for a long time, so I don't know what's going on. I can't really see up there, but I don't know. It's all part of the game. Just like that, we are out of the city and back in Virginia back to this side of the city. So you got uh, DC on one side of the river and you got Arlington, more specifically, this is like the Roslyn, Crystal City area of, uh, of that, man. So yeah, across the river, DC, District of Columbia, back into Arlington, Virginia. Now we're gonna jump on 66 and then 66 to the toll road. And that's it guys, we made it back to Winchester. This is just a little uh, hyperlapse snapshot of checkout where we dump about 65 dogs in about 45 minutes, I feel like. But uh, this is the front lobby and what an awesome day, man. What an awesome week, it's busy. My head's spinning, everything's kind of a fog, everything's kind of a blur, but those are the moments you actually know like you got real blessings. Because the other aspect of business is you're sitting on the couch doing nothing. And at least right now, that's not the case. Knock on wood, thank the Lord, but that ain't the case. So anyway, man, you see, we got uh, clients to the left, clients to the right, people coming in, dogs going out, and it's a process. And uh, those are two cool pups right there, man. That's a vet. Those are two wolfhound pups. They're like 18 weeks old, but they're massive. And right now, it's kind of a smooth flow. We got walkie-talkies up front. We got walkie-talkies in the back. We got staff up front, staff in the back. And as clients come in, we try to time it. So basically, you know, we have most of their cars memorized. When we see them go in the parking lot, we'll call to the back, try to have the dog waiting up front as best we can as they pull up. To the front glass one thing we do here is that we we actually prefer to take the dog all the way out to the car for the clients and um it just makes it smoother a little easier a little bit safer but yeah it's 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 a process and it is busy so what else so yeah these are all daycare dogs and running out of things to say but that's okay kind of blew my load early here and now i gotta wait out but this is normal stuff man when you live it every day. So sometimes people come in and they, they say, man, it's so cool. You got so much going on. And everybody here that, that works in a building is like, yeah, it's cool. But, you know, we're all kind of lost in a forest. I forgot how pretty the trees are kind of mindset because it is busy. But anyway, that's about it. Rich Side Canine, whatever we can do for you guys. Obviously, this is our Winchester location, but we cover all the city from Baltimore all the way out to Virginia Beach. We have a ton of trainers on the payroll. Love to help you out. Boarding trains, day training, lessons, transports, daycare, 
whatever you need, we offer it to some capacity. Um, as you guys can see from these videos, we pick up and drop off all over Northern Virginia with no issue whatsoever. So let us know however we can do to help you. And that's about it. This will wind down. We'll watch a few more flashes. And believe it or not, this was like 65 dogs in 45 minutes. I know it's kind of hard to process that, but it is true. And it's a normal nightly thing. That is for sure. So anyway, that's it. Ridgeside Canine House Best of Working Dogs. Obedience to protection. Let us know how we can help you.